What is up guys? What is up everybody? You might be saying, what the heck is we going on today? Wonders of the world. You are about to be entertained by the eighth, the young man who has become a legend in his own time. Six. Anyways guys, how you doing today? How you doing today? This is just a uh this is just a little tape deck that I got going on here. So, um, anyways, guys, so how you doing today? Bruce Lewis here again. And you might be wondering, what the hell is he doing now? What video is he putting up today? Well, you know, my videos are all types of videos, crazy videos, doing silly stuff, silly stuff, whatever. Hey, today I bring you a video. I'm all about the 80s. You know, I love, listen to the 80s. I have my, um, my CD, my CD, my tape collections right here. As you can see, I got tapes all over, you know, I got tapes back there. Got my radio and everything. Anyways, I just have the music for the background. Now you might be saying, what is that piece? What is this garbage doing here? It's not garbage, guys. So today I'm just gonna put a little video out there. See if it ever happens to you. Let anybody out there ever done this? Or is it just me? I don't know. So I record tapes and I buy tapes. I found a lot of tapes in my other videos. You can see I found like three boxes full of Sony tapes, but the boxes don't have the label that usually when you buy them in the store, the Sony tapes comes with, like that you can label your tapes of the music that you put on there. They just came like this. So basically what I do once I erase it, you know, because, so let's say I erase the tape and the label has been already used. So, Oh, check this out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love, I love 80s music. I love disco music. Anyways, back to the video. So these tapes I found already labeled, but I'm not gonna leave the label once I erase them. So I take the label off, you know? And I gotta put my own label, but the person already used the label, so it doesn't have any. And the case doesn't come with the Sony, Sony cardboard that used to come in here, so you can label it. So I'm gonna show you a crafty way that I do my labels. So let's say I already recorded my tape, and I'm ready to label it. So I just grab a piece of paper, you know, and. Open it up. I don't know if I the only one that does, does does this, but I don't think so, you know. So I want to make a label for my for my cassette. So uh, put the page here. I mean, it could be blank blank uh, paper, but I'm just using this because of the video, real quick. Just occurred to me when I when I post a video. So this is what I do. I put the page. This is a notebook page. So you put it in there, you kind of mold it with your fingers, you know. And then that's what I do first. First, I close it. Once it's already in the box like this, I get some scissors, gotta be sharp scissors. I cut what I'm not gonna use. There we go. Put it back up. Kind of mold it to where it's supposed to be. Now I got a leftover, a lot of leftover um, piece here, so I'm just gonna cut it. But I don't need. Be careful, don't cut your hands. Kids, if you wanna do this, make sure you have uh, 
parent watching you. You know, you want to be 80s? The kids are probably like, what the heck? So I'll put it in here. You know, you gotta mold it, kind of mold it with your with your hand. You kind of get rid of all the excess. So. Some of you probably are like, what the heck, man, you know? But this is just like, I don't want to spend money on, I know there's other ways to do it, maybe better. But this is my way to do it. Old school. You put the tape in there. You close it. And there we go. That's a little wrinkle. Okay. Come back out. See, it's a little wrinkle because I got some paper out here. So we cut it. And basically this is what it's going to look like. You know? So now you have the cassette, you have the case, and now you can label it. See? Put the tape in there. And now you can label it. You can even put, um, you know, the music, the title, the date. So I kind of just want to show you guys that. Look. And I got an example here, like my tapes, like this one is volume four. I'll put the date and what it says here. As you can see, I got, that's how I have them all. See? Super Bowl performances. Super Bowl performance in uh, volume one. So that's how I keep the KDJ 80s volume two mix in discotheque mix, KDGJ, and then I put the date. Because all, the, all these <clears throat> tapes didn't come with a, with a cover. So I'm gonna show you how they came. They came like this. So now that I'm erasing them, I really don't wanna, you know, write on the, on the case. Because in case I wanna erase it again, you know, it's gonna be hard to erase on tape, especially if you do with Sharpie marker. So it's better to just do a case and have them, have them like this. And all it is, is just a, just a paper. I mean, you could do it with different colors. You could do it with, you know, different color, make it look nice. I just did it with um, notebook, notebook paper. Oh my goodness, there we go. So yeah. You can do it with, uh, you know, like I said, different colors, make it look nice and stuff. But regular Joe, like me, I just like to do it rough, just cut it. It works for me. And look, and that's all I want to show you guys. Other than that, keep it rocking with the 80s and uh, I'll see you in another video. I leave a little bit mixed, like here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you on the next video. Not about the 80s.